So let's get started with UiPath Insights. Once you launch UiPath Insights and you have seen the create new dashboard option is enabled. If you it is if it is not enabled for you, please watch my previous video. So once you are on this dashboard, all you do click on UiPath templates. And here this list of templates might differ at what time you are watching this. This list is continuously improved and you might see more templates coming in into this place. Right now to start with, we will pick one of the template. Let's say the processes template. I'm going to click on this. Now give it some time for it to completely populate. Now here it is my tenant on which it's going to run. So what I will do, I'm going to select year to date and I'm going to click you know, refresh it because I have very less data. But in a company where the processes are running or scheduled on a regular basis, you would see, you know, if you select different variations here, like today, yesterday, you would be able to see them. Now, if you see all the data has been populated in the dashboard. Now let's understand one by one what are they. The first one processes ran. So in your orchestrator you might be having multiple processes. So how many times they ran? So 208 times year to date. Then it gives you success rate. So this success rate is of your jobs. So your job could be faulted, could be stopped, could be successful, right? So what is the success rate of your jobs? So here it is 89.90 percentage. Similar way you have all this information, average runtime, longest job duration, one job ran, maximum ran it for 11 minutes. So these are the information that you get from the first area. Now let's move on. Let's see the next one. Top 10 processes by hash run and statuses. Now when a process runs, we call it a job. And in the job, there are statuses. One is it could be successful. It completed successfully. The yellow in color. The green color was stopped. I have stopped it. For example, Acme smoke testing. This I have stopped it. Then the blue ones are faulted here. So this is how you would be able to see a graph, a visual graph to show you how, what is the success? How many were success, where we have faulted and all those things. You will be able to easily find it out. Now, if you see, this particular job has been faulted six times. What is the name of the job? Q-trigger.testing. So this job has faulted. So I can take necessary action when I see this blue color is more in any of the processes. So these are each single processes. Okay, top 10 processes. The other one, top 10 processes with faulted jobs. This also give you a quick understanding. So if you see the six times it has faulted, this one faulted four times. And this process, uh, you know, faulted two times. Okay, faulted jobs. So this is how this graph all also would help you to identify and quickly act on things. Now, next one is a weekly runs. So if you see, these are different uh, bots that I see. Unattended robot, the green one. Unattended robot one, uh, the blue one. Robot one, unattended. So this gives you a weekly run of different machines that you have and how they are performing okay each month next one is a very interesting table which is error details in this table for example if you see this has got six errors what is this error with the, this is the process name and with the pro i have given a queue i have written but again this is a process this process last run happened on this date and this is this the error happened six times now, new re what is the reason of it? New ID. If you click on this, here on the top, you would see a blue banner which comes and gives you the data. New item added to queue, no transaction data. This is the error. Okay, that's fine. I can ignore. Now, let's click on this. The second error. So, it gives you a cell where you can see this completely. Write cell workbook. The process cannot access the file. It is not able to access this XLX file. So, this is a problem I need to address. Now, if I click on the third one, Download report.xaml, invoke workflow file, the UI element is invalid. So these are the areas which can help you easily to understand where things are going wrong and 
address them quickly. So this is more about the dashboard that you have seen. Okay, this is the dashboard. Now what you can do with the dashboard? Now many times I would like to create an alert. So for example, I want to create an alert if the success rate is less than 90%. If my jobs are getting failed or if the success rate is less than 95%, then I would like to get an alert. Right? That means the jobs are failing, something wrong in the VM, something wrong somewhere, right? So I would like to get an alert. To do that, I will be simply clicking on this alert button. This alert button will only be available if you have got designer license enabled for you. If not, please do watch my previous video if you do not see this. Now let me click on this alerts. And here, all the options that you saw, process ran, right? If you click on the drop down, you would see all of them. Process ran, then you had success rate, then you had total suspension time. The last one was longest job duration. So all these filters options are there. I am interested in success rate. I'm going to click on that. Now is greater than, I'm, I'm interested in is less than, let's say 95, 95%. You don't have to write percentage anything, simply write 95. So if it is less than 95, I would like to get an email. These are the options that you have, email. So this option could later, you might have more options, but this is the email alert that we have at this moment. And whom you would like to send. So I'm sending it to some person of my tenant, let's say the support executive, who supports the RPA runs, the RPA support team. So there you can add their email addresses, and would you like to send it daily, weekly, monthly, hourly? All these things are available for you, right? So you can also set as per the need and hit on save alert. And you also have the times at what time would you like to send? So let me hit on save alert. The moment you do a save alert, this is how it will appear. You can also create as many new alerts you want. For example, I would like to create another one for longest job duration. If it is greater than so and so time, I would like to get an alert. So like the same way we have done, you have to set the alerts. Once the alerts are set, you'll be able to see this kind of an option here. If you see, there is only one alert for this dashboard, this particular container. Now, similar way, this can be done for all of this. Okay, all of this, you can set alerts. For example, errors, you'd like to set alert. So here you have the option process ran, is greater than, less than, all these options are there. You can set your alerts based on the need. Done. Now the next thing you would also be interested, can I schedule a delivery? For example, every day morning or every day night, you would like to share an email of this entire dashboard. Not just this specific component, but the entire dashboard I would like to share with someone. So for this, all you do, click on these three dots. And then you have the option schedule delivery. Click on this. Now here you get all these options. So schedule name, you can provide a specific name. And how you want it. Do you want it daily, monthly, weekly? You can set that. You can select your time when you want it. And here the destination, you have multiple options like webhooks, Amazon S3, SFTP, email, all this option you can choose from. I'm going to go with email. And here the best part is, it is not just you can send it to only your tenant or organization members of UiPath orchestrator. You can also send it to external people. Let's say management, right? You can select external and type their email address. Anyone from the management would, is interested and should be stayed informed all of them can be added into this email addresses field by selecting external, you can type them. And you have all different options. How would you like to send it? So PDF, CSV, PNG, how you like to send it? So PDF, which, which I prefer, and I'm going to hit on save. So that way what would happen, a scheduled delivery will be ran and every based on the schedule, it is going to send emails. Let me show you one of the sample email that I have received. So if you see, this is the email insightscloud.uipath.com and this email was scheduled by you. And if I open this particular PDF, you can see the entire dashboard has come.
because not everybody would like to come to the insights and open the dashboard click on it and see the things sometimes an email makes more sense so those are the areas you can utilize these options let's go back so now you have got an introduction of a template called processes and you also know different options like how do you set alerts and how you can schedule a delivery of the entire template i am going to teach you one more extra information what is that so this template that you have created is residing here in the ui part template section now what you do what you really like is sometimes you might would like to change edit and do lot many things so for that you have to move this one from the ui path template section to your own dashboard section how will you do it so here if you see this is the option you might also get a question that is what is this org label what is this template i am going to answer that now right now let me highlight this and here you find copy to my dashboard in case you do not see this option that means you do not have the designer license for that you need to watch the previous video in the playlist i am going to click on this option and i am going to click on save the moment you copy what happens it goes to your dashboard so let me close this click on ui path insights and here if you see the one that you have copied would appear here now once it comes here you have all the option to make the edits so i let me open this let me select year to date and here let's say i would like to start editing the dashboard you can click on edit dashboard and you can start working on editing different ones for example if i click on add you get multiple options you can add a text you can add a markdown button visualization all these things that you want you can edit so this would be a separate section of learning how do you edit a dashboard but at the moment as an introduction you got to know how you can also edit a dashboard let me cancel this let me go back now let's go back to uapa templates we saw there is another template also available with the name processes and this has a label called organization label so what is the difference so this one would work on the tenant label and this template will work on the org label in one organization you might be having multiple tenants so it will work on that layer so i'm going to simply rename it to org and it on save you can put your proper names you can give <clears throat> once this is done let me go back to your path insights and this is the two different templates you saw now let me open the org template at this moment okay give it some time okay now this org template has a extra filter what is that extra filter the filter is i can select the tenant so here number of tenants you would have it will be listed currently i have only one tenant so it only shows one tenant but in your environment you might be having multiple tenants which you can select so this is the difference between the two templates otherwise this template is almost exactly the same template just more filters and more options you have on the top clear great now what else is remaining for us to learn you have created your dashboard now you would like to share it let's say you have made edit and you would like to share it with your members your tenant members or your org members tenant members do have access to only to that tenant org members they do have access to all the tenants now let's say how do you share it because this particular one is a tenant label process template now here if you click on this share option you see an option called share with tenant so i am going to click on share with tenant okay now if you see the dashboard has appeared in the tenant and all the tenant members will be able to have access will be able to access this tenant layer dashboards now there will be member who may not be part of your entire org they are part of a very specific tenant only they would only see this now sometimes you would like to share a template at the org level now choose the org level template and the org level template would give you the option to share it with with entire org 
So this is where I will be clicking on share with organization. Wait for some time and you would see a new tab has appeared here under the org. So right now in the introduction section, you have learned lot many things. How to choose a template? How, what are the meanings of a process template we have seen and what are the different two process templates we have seen? One is the tenant, one is the org label template. And how do you share it with the tenant and the org? All these things we have seen. We have also seen how do you enable alerts and how do you send scheduled delivery like the PDF email you can send. So a lot of things we have learned. Let's move on to our next video where we would learn a new topic in UiPath Insights.